about the National Water Quality Assessment Program, and part of a component of that is our agricultural chemical transport study. This is a study looking at the effects of agriculture on water quality at seven different sites across the country. And today, specifically, though, we're going to be talking about uh, an area in northwest Mississippi, our Mississippi alluvial plain, is commonly referred to as the Delta. And we're going to talk to some farmers, we're going to talk to some scientists, and we're going to take a little bit of a tour of the Delta. So what is the most interesting thing that you've worked on um, in the Delta as well, part of the ACT study? I've been working on uh, fate and transport of glyphosate. Glyphosate is a non-selective herbicide used in the United States for crop production. It's been used since the uh, early 1970s, but it really took off in uh, the early 1990s when genetically modified crops, specifically corn, cotton, and uh, soybean, were modified to so that you could use glyphosate over the top of them for weed control. And then the amount of glyphosate being used has just uh, jumped up enormously. There hasn't been a lot of work on the fade and transfer of glyphosate because it's very difficult to analyze for and very expensive. But we were able to do a two-year study at two different locations, one in Iowa, one in Mississippi, looking at multiple sized basins, looking at the, how the fade and transport of glyphosate changed as you moved in different uh, agricultural and climatic areas. And we were able to sort of relate the occurrence of glyphosate to three different factors, one being use, if you, which makes sense. If you use it, if you use more of it, you're going to see more of it. And of course, in Mississippi, because of our warmer climates and our, and our hardier weeds, we probably used more than they did in Iowa, so we saw more. Additionally, we saw it was related to hydrology or precipitation rainfall. You need water to move uh, agricultural chemicals off the fields. And so in areas where they have more runoff, then uh, you'll see more glyphosate. And then the third factor was sort of the flow path or the route of the water as it moves off the field and into the stream. Does it go through the ground or does it go through uh, over the top of the mm -hmm. landscape? And this makes a difference because glyphosate has a, a high affinity for absorption to soil particles. And if it goes through the ground, it has a tendency to absorb more. And so you'll see less glyphosate in your stream mm -hmm. if the water gets there through the soil. That's been a very interesting study and has been quite well received. Mm -hmm.